children. They are one of the greatest joys in life. Most men and women look forward to having a family of their own, but few expect to have difficulties conceiving. In fact, one in seven people in the United States will face some form of infertility in their lifetime. According to recent data, only half of those afflicted will ever seek treatment, with 25% of them foregoing treatment after their first treatment cycle. With statistics like these, medical experts say it's critical to seek medical care early. It's very important to seek infertility care through a reproductive endocrinologist who is a specialist in the field and can make things happen most efficiently. Um, for women who are under 35, typically after 12 months of trying to conceive without success, a workup is warranted. Certainly women 35 and older um, have a little bit more time pressure and after six months of trying to conceive warrant a workup. Generally a complete workup is critical since a patient who may not have everything done initially could be misguided in what protocol is appropriate for them. And secondly, I think that all patients need to be given all of the fertility options that are possible for them immediately since they play a big role in their choice for care. When we got news that my wife had what's called polycystic ovarian syndrome, that was one of the downfalls of her not being able to um, conceive. So we had to find, you know, uh, help that some, or a clinic that would treat infertility and at the same time know the go arounds around polycystic ovarian syndrome. So there was two things that there was a focus on. You know, it wasn't just a one uh, a problem conceiving. It was several things that were involved in not being able to conceive. Today, there are advanced reproductive procedures and state-of-the-art technology offering more women and couples a real chance at having a family. And many infertility centers, such as the Institute for Reproductive Medicine and Science, or IRMS have a wide range of infertility options. One of the oldest treatment options that's been around for decades and still very effective is fertility medications for women who don't ovulate. Um, for sperm factor infertility, there's artificial insemination with husband's sperm or even donor sperm if there's not a male partner. And for very severe infertility issues, block tubes or severe sperm factor infertility, in vitro fertilization has probably the highest pregnancy rates. Here at St. Barnabas, we are excited about, um, among other procedures, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. Uh, we've done quite a bit of work in this area. Uh, it's a procedure that allows us to test an embryo to be sure it's genetically normal prior to its transfer. It allows us to select the highest quality embryos and improves our pregnancy rates, improves our patients' chances to have a baby. The organization also recognizes the value of educating patients on all their available treatment options so they can be informed participants in their own care. I think the key is patient education. I think that people should understand what's going on with them, know all the options, know all the pros and the cons, all the risks and the benefits so that they can really make an informed decision. And that, I think, is the biggest part of our job is to make sure our patients really and truly understand um, all the resources that are available to them here. I think a, a second component is to recognize how truly, truly stressful uh, infertility is. The level of stress, anxiety, depression that these patients experience is enormous and I think not really acknowledged a lot by society or by the patients themselves and a lot of the patients tend to become martyrs and to try to shove that that stress and that anxiety to the side and in the end it ends up hurting them um, on an emotional level a psychological level on a relationship level and ultimately their health it was very hard for us emotionally you know dealing with um, um, how she felt, you know, from day to day, or how I felt from day to day, or how we felt overall, you know, at the whole picture of not being able to conceive every time that we tried and we failed, every time that we tried and we failed, it emotionally set us back. The treatment that we received was the IVF cycle, um, and we had a, a, you know, the beautiful baby girl. <laughs> we were so excited. As part of its philosophy of care, the organization offers an online interactive message board designed to give all infertile couples a resource to seek professional medical advice. 
It's a public service, it's patient education, and it's also emotional support for our patients. Uh, we believe very strongly in um, public health education and patient education. And this is one of the ways that we can reach our patients in kind of a casual and friendly but informative way. As one of the leading fertility clinics in the United States, the Institute for Reproductive Medicine and Science, or IRMS, mm -hmm. takes its commitment to research and high quality care to the next level. There are many centers in the country that have established good pregnancy rates, but a great center goes beyond that. Um, we have both clinical excellence and excellence in the laboratory, which have established very high pregnancy rates and certainly draws patients to our center. One of the reasons that I think this atmosphere is so helpful to patients is not only do they sense the compassion that we have and our desire to help them achieve this goal, but they have access to the clinicians. I received very compassionate care at the center. Um, the staff was very courteous. They knew me by name um, pretty much from day one, which I thought was very surprising. Um, and the doctors were extremely caring. Um, they always call me by my name too. I obviously feel extremely fortunate um, to, have, um, to have the children that I do. Um, I don't feel that without in vitro and the procedure that was performed, I would have gone on to, um, to have my kids, um, given my history, my medical history. So, and, and on, a, on the same note, I feel extremely, um, I feel compelled to be an advocate um, for um, in, the, in the field of infertility because I, I went through it and I suffered for so many years, um, so many miscarriages, and the outcome was so positive. A major message that I sort of hit people over the head with is how important female age is in the biologic clock, that if women are getting close to 35, they need to see an infertility specialist if they're having problems sooner than later. And um, people really, women especially, need to think of of making having a family a priority in their lives when they're younger because they're, it is very difficult to help women over 40. So I would say the age factor is, is very important and, and seeing a specialist in infertility and not just spending many years just with their general OBGYN. IRMS has an all-female team of dedicated and experienced physicians that are truly sensitive to all infertility issues. They serve not only patients from all over the United States, but also an international patient population. We just happen to be an all-female team at this time, and we've noticed, because we do see patients from all over the world, that for some women, due to cultural restraints, they are more comfortable doing a physical exam with an all-female team. So we think that for some women, this just may confer that much more uh, comfort for their experience. The major impact of our organization, of course, is helping people have families, or if they have families already, help them get larger. Um, it's, a, it's a very gratifying field to, to help people uh, who want children, and um, the impact is, is tremendous. Uh, we have many, many people that, that are grateful, surprised, happy, and coming back for more. IRMS is also known for its world-renowned lab and its contributions to the field of assisted reproductive technology. We have an embryology team that's been together uh, literally for more than a decade. We have more than 100 years experience all, all told. We work well together. We've developed many of the procedures uh, that we use that are used around the world in assisted reproductive technology. For more information about IRMS or assisted reproductive technology, call 877-456-4IVF or visit sbivf.com.